Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Salman Masood and you are watching the Concept Academy by Idea Solution. This is the second part of our video series of ASP.NET Core. And in this video, we will discuss about file and folder structure in ASP.NET Core MVC. In the last video, I explained all the basic things related to ASP.NET Core and I told you to download the uh, Visual Studio 2017 and while downloading the Visual Studio 2017 you must check on .NET Core and if you are a little bit confused then you can watch my this video in which I have explained that how to download Visual Studio 2017 you can find on my channel uh, here it is how to download and install Visual Studio 2017 I will provide you the link and in the previous video I have provided uh, the blogger link so you can see from there and you can visit my channel too uh, okay and before starting this video please subscribe kar diya karo yaar bot time ho gaya channel ke subscribers mahi rukke ve 90% log unsubscribe मतलब सब non subscriber हैं subscribe के बगैर ही videos देख रहे हैं तो बोलना पड़ रहा है बाकी youtubers की तरह मुझे भी के please subscribe मार दिया करो यार इससे पैसे नहीं लगते ठीक है video को like कर दिया करो इतना content दिया है तो like comment तो बनता है इससे होता क्या है कि video जो है ना promote करता है youtube otherwise वो video पड़ी रहती है किसी कोने में तो please थोड़ा सा भाई को support कर दो इस मामले में ठीक है so let's just start it. Let's just start it. Okay. We will do what? Just click on file, new project, and okay. Just click on web, Visual to Visual C sharp. The language is Visual C sharp, and click on web. And now you can see the two options: ASP.NET Core and .NET Framework. So we are learning ASP.NET Core, so we will not select ASP.NET uh, .NET Framework, we will select .NET Core and just click OK and here is some provided template for development, so this is empty API web application and I prefer to work on web application model view controller and structural pattern that I recommend always to work for a web application so we will just click on this web application model view controller okay you can find react to uh, in my later session I will make try to make video on this topic too so for right now I am selecting this web application model view controller and click ok Now you can see the folder structure of ASP.NET Core web application, ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay, this is the solution name. You are familiar to this, you are familiar to this too. This is the project name. Okay, and here is the dependencies. Uh, in the beginning, you will see this warning sign because it is restoring the packages right now. You can see this downloading ASP.NET Core Razor design. Right? So it is not completed uh, yet. So you can see restore complete so we'll discuss it later okay this is the property in the property we have a launch setting or json a json file which is used to configure but uh, for right now i will not disturb this i'm just showing this file to you right now okay and uh, while configuring the server we will uh, come to this file this is the new thing for you which was not present in ASP.NET MVC that is what WW root this is nothing but just a folder uh, and this folder does what 
it contains all the static resources like uh, if your web application contains any static page any static HTML page which does not change which is not dynamic then we place that uh, static resource in this folder www so as you know in the previous version of ASP.NET MVC we used to keep our static resources like images JavaScript CSS file in content folder but for now we will keep our all the static resources in this folder that is www root okay, I show you now if I explore this you can see here is a CSS folder this is nothing new for you all and this is the image folder JavaScript libraries in the libraries I have bootstrap downloaded jQuery jQuery validation and so on and if I require to download any other library of jQuery or any other thing any other static resource so I will keep all the static resource in this www root okay and the next thing is nothing new you all are familiar to this this is a controller home controller Bilkul hai jaisa pehle tha. the same thing which were present in sp.net MVC if the default is home controller and the next thing is model this is also nothing new you all are familiar with the model folder what we do with the model we put our business logic layer business access layer in the model and we design our entity in the model folder and the last folder is view and this is also nothing new thing this, there is no, also nothing new in this folder here is your shared folder which contains what which contains a layout validation uh, this is a partial view and uh, I will discuss this cookies consent partial it's uh, not required yet now and this is the folder and there are four pages by default already provided in template and the nothing uh, the new thing which uh, is to discuss for this video is app setting .json. as I explained in my previous video in the part one that there is no web.config file so where, how we will configure a file I told in the last video that we will configure all the things in app setting .js. like we will put our connection string here we will uh, put our uh, uh, default URLs in here okay we will put all the keys here so this is the substitute of web.config and here is something new for our audience that is what this is program.cs which was not present in our web application in the previous versions of our web application but we are familiar to this class this is what we were used to work on while uh, when we were used to work on console we had a class like this program and we had a static main method from where the uh, program begins so how we can attach or find the console based program in web application so you must uh, memorize or keep remember this thing the in ASP.NET core the programs the app web application begin as a console program while a console program ki tarah ye run hota hai console program convert ho jata hai web application in the the ASP.NET code the program the application begins with the console application and uh, later it converts to the web application when in ex when it executes this method you can see a create web host builder method is over here it is calling what uh, if we go to this you can see a startup file is here so all these uh, settings are done in this this is a startup file which is very important and new concept in ASP.NET Core and we will discuss it and this is very important to know because uh, uh, our next topic is middleware so uh, I will explain you what is middleware and we will configure the middleware as you can see 
many of these things are by default uh, configured like uh, we have uh, app dot use http redirection static files cookie policies mvc route and as you know that we had a file we used to had a file in asp.net mvc that was root.config file and you can see there is not no root.config file we have set our root in this method configure method so we will whatever we are required in asp.net code we configure we put in this configure method aur aane wale mein kya tha ke bhai jo bhi cheeze thi ye sari ki sari thi bhari hui pehle se but yahan par kya hai ke jo cheeze istemal karni hai sirf wahi aapko yahan par na configure karni hogi okay so that's all for this video we will discuss in our later video session Uh, next topic is middle layer okay so please yaar video ko subscribe karo like karo share zarur karo theek hai chalo ji milte hain allah hafiz